So I've got my grow watt here all hooked up, solar's hooked up, all my disconnects are hooked up. Just running through some final AC hookups for my outdoor plugs. I still have to run my outdoor generator plug, which as you've probably seen in my other video, which is just this plug here. This is gonna allow me to plug in my generator if there's no sun uh, and if I need any kind of backup power. Don't ever think I'll need it, but it's just gonna be nice to have. I also need to run my outdoor GFCI plug. Uh, this also is running on 20 amps. So this is just gonna give me an outdoor plug to run any saws or anything off of. So I'll take you outside in a little bit. It's cloudy out today, but we'll still be producing some power. Uh, I've got everything hooked up. This is my AC output. This is my AC monitoring. Now the grow watt itself, you can see the watts on the screen, but once the screen blacks out, I just like having this secondary monitor here. And then this is gonna be my switch for my generator on and off. I've got my solar disconnect here. This is gonna interrupt the solar power to the inverter. Also, I have a disconnect outside as well. Now this is my battery on off for my buzz bar. And then I have a shunt on this side here for monitoring and I've got a really cool uh, thing in mind to be able to monitor from the Bluetooth anywhere through the internet. Uh, I'll show you that in a little in another video. And then I have my monitoring as well for my DC side. So right now we're at 27.5 volts and we're bringing in 18, almost 19 amps into my 24 volt system. And then I've just got lights here to go on off. My power bar, I still need to clean up the Wi-Fi. Uh, right now the Wi-Fi is connected through this little power adapter which runs up into the power bar. And then I also have, uh, this is monitoring for the temperature sensor. I have one temperature sensor here, and then I also have another temperature sensor in my battery box, just so that I can be able to see what the temperature of the cells are at any time through the Wi-Fi. Uh, so today I'm just hooking up some outdoor AC. Uh, let's have a look at my battery box over here. So this here is my battery box. I've done another video on this build. This is a 24 volt pack and it has 230 amp hours, which is roughly about 5.7, 5.8 kilowatt hours worth of power. So I, this has been working flawlessly. I haven't had any issues. This is the temperature sensor here. And then my BMS, all my balance leads running through and I have a fuse here, as well as I have another disconnect and a pre-charge resistor in order to power up the capacitors inside the grow watt whenever I turn the system on or off. Uh, I have another battery box that I'm gonna build. I already have the cells, I have the box, I have everything for it, I just need to put it together. It's gonna be more bare bones than this. I'm not gonna have a disconnect or pre-charger and it's a little bit smaller of a box and I'm not gonna uh, compress the cells. Off-Grid Solar Garage did a very good video on compressing your cells and how it kind of makes no sense at the discharge rate that we are using for off-grid and solar. So I'm not gonna bother compress them. I'm just gonna fill in the sides with padding so that they don't shift around. So this is my solar array here. We have 1,860 watts worth of power coming through this solar array. It's six 310 watt solar panels. And then this is the back end of my solar array. So I have the three top panels running in series and then the bottom three panels running in series and they run over down along the joists over here and then they run into my combiner box. My whole entire array is grounded to each other. So there is a ground wire that loops around and connects into a grounding plate in the ground. So this is my combiner box. All of my solar inputs come in on this side and they come out on this side here. They run down and around and into my combiner box. So this gives me a main disconnect that I can lock out while I'm working on the system, as well as I have a couple of fuses here at 15 amps for each array. Now I didn't actually have to put overcurrent protection on this array. I'm within my parameters not to have a combiner box, but I wanted to build one and put one in anyways. So I have 15 amp fuses here. Once they get combined into parallel, a 25 amp disconnect, uh, surge protection that is grounded into my grounding plate as well with the array grounding. And then I have a GFCI to protect against any kind of ground fault with the array. And that also runs into the grounding plate in the ground. And those wires from my combiner box run through the ground here underneath these patio stones and then they come up under the trailer and they come up into the trailer through the ground here. I've just got some spray foam to protect against any kind of rodents. Runs up, runs into my disconnect here 
and then runs up into the grow watt. So, so far this system's been working flawlessly for me. The only issue I had was one day I came here and I have an AC unit in here, uses about 800 watts. Uh, I had set the temperature a little bit too low and the trailer was sitting at about 18 degrees and I didn't have any way to turn it down and this spot here is a little far away from my home. So what had happened was I had a low voltage warning on my battery bank, but it powered through and then the sun came up the next day, recharged the batteries, no issues. So that was the only problem I've had so far was just a low voltage warning. Uh, didn't shut down the unit or anything. So so this is my grow watt setup. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, next video I wanna do is I'm gonna show off a lot of my smart devices that I have for this grow watt and this solar trailer in general. So stay tuned for that next video.